So I have a Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra and I'll be showing you how to set up an eSIM on your Galaxy S23, literally any of the Galaxy S23 phones. So the first thing you need to do is obviously have your eSIM close by. I have mine as a QR code, as you can see. Some providers will ask you to call them so they can send you your eSIM data details into the phone directly. But for me, I have my QR code here, which I've covered obviously behind this tape. And that's what I'm going to use to set up my eSIM. So simply go into settings. On the main settings page, go to connections, tap on that. And then under connections, go to SIM manager, tap on that. And I've already inserted two physical SIM cards and now I'm going to add an eSIM profile. So tap on add eSIM. And it says your phone will temporarily disconnect from the SIM2 network to add the eSIM. So, okay. And then it tells me scan QR code from service provider, which is the QR code I have here from Safaricom, my service provider. So, tap on this and it's going to launch the QR code scanner via your camera. And then use that to scan the QR code on uh, your eSIM. Once you scan, it's going to start asking for uh, checking for SIM uh, details. It's going to ask if I want to add Safaricom eSIM, which means it's on already detected that I'm using a Safaricom eSIM. So tap on add and then wait for it to add the eSIM onto the phone. Now it says this may take a while. Now, for this to work, you obviously need to have internet connection. So make sure your phone is either connected to Wi-Fi or you have another SIM card which has mobile data enabled. Because that's what it's going to use to download the uh, eSIM profile. So as you can see, the download is in progress. So simply wait for it to finish. So it says it's 100%, so it's almost done. Then it's going to ask for the SIM pin. So enter your SIM pin. And once you enter the pin, it's going to activate that eSIM. So as you can see, I have two physical SIM cards inside this phone, and I also have an eSIM that I've enabled. Now, just so you know, the phone can only have two SIM cards active at the same time. So you can either have one physical SIM card and one eSIM, or you can have two eSIMs. Whatever the case, you can only activate two SIM cards at the same time. So as you can see, my SIM 2, even though the SIM card is inside the phone, has been disabled. If I want to enable this, I have to disable one of these other SIM cards to maintain two SIM cards at a time. But as far as eSIM profiles go, I can add as many eSIM profiles as I want. And that's basically how to set up eSIM on your Samsung Galaxy S23. Thanks for watching. Leave your comments and questions down below and good luck.